Okay, so I've been testing Gemini 1.5 Pro, the latest experimental variant, and I must say I'm quite surprised by its math capabilities. Now, trying it straight out of the box, you might not get the right sense of its full capabilities, but once you start looking deeper, you will see it's quite capable, if not the most capable model on maths. It seems Google might just have dropped a math genius in the market. So first off, the best way to test it is to simply head over to the Google AI Studio. It's a straightforward sign in using Google account. If you want to use the API option, you will need an API key. But for our test, we'll stick to the AI Studio. So let's click on new prompt. Make sure you select Gemini 1.5 Pro Experimental 0801. I'll start with a number theory challenge with all the default options right now. Then we will tweak them to see how the accuracy is improved in math tasks. So I'll ask how many three digit numbers have a product of their digits between two and seven. So the way you have to solve it is by finding three digit combinations that when multiplied make three, four, five and six respectively. That is between two and seven. So as you can see here, the correct answer is 21 possibilities, but the LLM gives the response as 10. Now let's dig deeper and see why it gave the incorrect answer. So that way has formulated the problem is since it knows that it has to find three digit combinations, hence it will start from 100 and go to 999 and check for which numbers when their digits are multiplied together make product between 2 and 7. Now it has broken it down. First it considers the numbers between 100 and 199 then 200 to 299 and then 300 to 399 and then it says for numbers more than 400 that is when their 100 digit is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 the product of their digits will be too large that is the product won't fall between 2 and 7 which is an absurd conclusion because we can see that it has identified 114 as a valid number so if 1 times 1 times 4 satisfies the condition then why won't 411 satisfy the same condition so you can see here within hundreds digit as 1 it is losing some low hanging fruits that goes for 115, 151, 116, 161 and so on anyway i wanted to try again by reducing the temperature since we are in math problems and as with math problems it is often advisable to use lower temperatures since it requires high accuracy and consistency now reducing the temperature in the same chat results in the same answer word by word to get a fresh context i'll create a new chat reduce the temperature to 0.2 and try again well this time it has recognized that for this problem numbers like 113 131 and 311 are equivalent so it is not trying with different hundreds digit numbers rather it is clubbing the numbers by product to make the product for once it gets 114 it quickly clears combinations of those digits first before moving on to the next possibility for product 4 that you can see being done for product 6 as well so it shows a much better understanding of the number theory now it simply has to count the numbers which is 3 plus 6 plus 3 plus 9 is equal to 21 but it gives the number as 18 which is incorrect i'll try with temperature 0 in a new prompt and here in the answer not only it clearly states the intention that it is considering product of 3 first and then each permutation of 113 and it's good to see that it is even calling them permutations and not a combination which is absolutely correct because permutation considers the order of digits while combination doesn't so that's impressive and it does the same for product 4 and finally it sums them up to get the final answer 21 an absolutely perfect answer in my opinion i cannot complain on it at all now i'm obviously going to test if it were just a serendipity for the model or is it actually something we can expect again and again with temperature zero so i ran three different times with new prompt with temperature set to zero each time uh, i got the same correct answer so for number theory if you set the temperature as zero i think it's just perfect if you're wondering about this syntax it is latex syntax actually which is being used by the llm here to render out mathematical expressions since I have Obsidian installed and I'm running a community plugin called Quick Latex, I'll leave the links in the description. I'm simply going to create a new node and copy the generated response as marked down here and paste it. So you can see this is how the result gets rendered out. Anyway, moving on to the next quant problem, I'm going to keep the temperature low. So here I have asked, Viru invested 10,000 rupees at 5% simple annual interest. And exactly after two years, Joy invested 8,000 at 10% simple annual interest. How many years after Viru's investment? will their balances that is principal plus accumulated interest will be equal and this time it gets the answer absolutely correct uh, so it starts with algebra with x years and calculates for viru 
the interest and total balance by summing with principal and does the same for joy only with x minus 2 as number of years for interest and finally solves the equation for x so i would say good job on algebra now let's see if it can handle a two variable algebra that is time and distance so here is the question a train covered a certain distance at a uniform speed if the train would have been 10 km per hour faster it would have taken two hours less than the schedule time and if the train went slower by 10 km per hour it would have taken three hours more than the schedule time find the distance covered by the train and i'll again copy the answer as markdown and paste it in a new obsidian node so as you can see here it has first formulated a three equation and three unknown problem which is correct and then it is replacing t from the equation one in the form of d and s into the other two equations to get a two equation and two unknown problem but the thing is that it is choosing the wrong unknown to replace by replacing t in the form of other unknowns it is having two quadratic equations to solve while it could choose to replace d as st in the other equations and then it would have two unknown two equation problem but only with linear equations to solve now the ai probably doesn't care if it has to solve a linear or quadratic equation but nevertheless i think in algebra this model is quite good so as you saw it's indeed a powerful model for maths anyway let me know in the comments what you think about it do you find it useful and stay tuned if you want to see more such ai explorations as always thank you for watching and see you next time